I'm sorry mom, I smuggle cigarettes for the border. Today I'm about to start my biggest challenge yet, something I've never done before. I will hitchhike from Iraq to Georgia, crossing the entire country of Turkey, crossing two borders in three days. Right now we are on the way to the border with Turkey. Okay, let's go. But there is a first problem. It is illegal to cross the border between Turkey and Iraqi Kurdistan by what? You must be inside the vehicle to cross this border. But we don't have one. Our hitchhiking only got us to the border. And now we need to find a way to cross. All we need is to find the car. But this was easier said than done. At this border, there was no place to hitchhike. So we went to Plan B. We started asking people. Taxi drivers kept coming to us and we also had one rule. No taxi, no money. And the taxi drivers told us that we need to be registered in the car to cross the border to Turkey. And they also told us that nobody will do this for us. Little did they know what happened next. One man had a very interesting proposal. He said, you smokings, me passport. Then he kept saying, smoking, smokings, you take smokings, I take passport. But we gave our passport to this stranger and registered us in his car. Then we walked to his car and each of us got a black bag full of cigarettes. My smokings are here. Then we realized what is actually happening. This person had over it than the maximum amount of cigarettes allowed to carry through the border per person. So he needed more people in his car and like that, I ended up smuggling cigarettes from Iraq to Turkey. I'm sorry, mom, but uh, I smuggled cigarettes for the board. <laughs> but this was not the craziest thing that happened. We're now legit hitchhiking for five hours with four people, and now we're getting in a truck. She's just gonna visit us. Shidnak for sure. Okay. Uh, we're on the way. We are dropped off here in front of the turn to the city called Sirt, and Sirt means in Armenian heart and territories have so much history because right now Kurdish people live here before they share this territory with Armenians and now uh, it's Turkey. The sun started going down and we still don't have a place to sleep for tonight. We are running out of battery, we don't have any food anymore and it's getting very cold in the evening. But then after a couple of minutes this car stopped and this happened. So we were just hitchhiking this whole road and then he asked us yeah, do you need anything? And we kind of jokingly said, yeah, please, place to sleep. And guess what? He just invited four strangers. And here we are. And there's a beautiful apartment, amazing view. This man, he was so kind. He invited his friend over, we played some games, he ordered food for us, and he gave us this room with this amazing view for the night. We're very grateful for meeting you, and thank you so much for hosting us. And I wish you all the best with your plans to go into Europe and hope to see you again, maybe. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you. He reads faster than these talks. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. And trust me, we really needed a good rest. Because what happened next? Um, what, wait, actually, what, what happened next? Oh, the drunk driver. Because what happened next was really crazy. Five kilometers only to Jebash, but we can go anyway. Five and five and five and five. Probably already car like number ten. Thank you. Uh, so I already lost count. I don't know how many cars we changed today. And we are right now one hour away from our destination. The city, small city, is called Cars. And there are no cars, two cars at all. Like, how is it going? Good night. The first car oh, yeah, coming, yeah, yeah. and that car turns into the city, and nobody gets to this road yet. We are not gonna give up. Oh, I can hear another one. Oh, that's a big truck. Very big truck. <laughs> Just like that. That's how we do. <laughs>
close. Close, what's close? He wanna take us, but. Uh, I feel tired. These cars don't stop. And there's like one car in five or ten minutes and they still don't stop. And now we're asking at the gas station if we can sleep here. So the only option is the gas station or just to knock to the doors of uh, nearby houses. Is there any place to sleep? What are you doing? There's no place to eat here. No, eat here. No, it's sleeping. Can you ask? Is it possible to sleep here? We have a sleeping bag and mattress. Maybe upstairs. Let me ask our boss one, oh. okay? Okay, yeah, perfect. 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 Take a look. Take a look. Okay. Cars? Cars? No problem. Bagaj da dolu, full. Arka koltuk da full. Everything is full. Okay, no problem. The second one. I asked the people on the petrol station if they can take us to the to the cars, and I'm not really sure what they say, but probably we can go. They say like, maybe you will know the law of the car. Here you come with us. That's what the translator said. I mean, so they're going to cars. Yeah, they're going to cars. Yeah, and we go with them probably. I mean, oh. they, they they packing their stuffs at the back now. Probably make the place for us. Do so they know that we are four people? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so they're go. going to cars. I think so. Yeah. That would Dabai be amazing. Plecaki. Dabai plecaki da gure. Dawaj kurwa. <laughs> kurwa no. They're gonna be shocked how much stuff we have. It is. Going to cars. Happy days, yeah. I'm not sure yet how we're gonna fit okay. with the four backpacks and four people at yeah, the back, but four? we have no other option. Maybe we have really Maybe? no other option. Yeah. So that's where the whole fun starts. We have four people with four big backpacks. The whole trunk was full and even on the back seat they had some bags and stuff. We had to sit so tight, almost one on another, holding our huge backpacks. There was no room to move a handle, to change a position. And we were like stuck in the car so bad that we couldn't even close the door ourselves that the driver had to come from the other side push us a little bit further so he can close the door we started driving then i saw he reached his hand to the can and he started drinking then it started to smell like an alcohol then the music was louder the speed was faster and he was drinking more and more always thinking i just want to get there safe the second i had that thought pulled over by police just decided to check our driver and he failed the alcohol test and then we started the whole investigation took everything out of the car checked every bag and here we are again in the middle of the night then one of the police officers was so kind and offered to take us to the closest hotel and it was our first night sleeping in a hotel since we started the journey but that was not the end and then the crazy challenge happened again while crossing the border to Georgia. This morning it is just three of us. It's our last hour in Turkey. We're very close to the border. Everything gradually is changing. Truck stopped and we are going now to the city close to the border. Oh. Guys, we just wished to ride on the back of a truck, and here we go! Oh my god, it's my first time! I'm so happy all the way while hitchhiking. I was wishing for this and and it came true just and here we are our last moments in Turkey
while crossing the border to Georgia. On the website it says that you need to have PCR test or a vaccination. Me and Jesse, we had both. But Damien didn't have a PCR test and we wanted to have a celebration, a dinner together. He went back to the city, took a PCR test and two hours later he was back and crossed the border and we met him on the other side. It was impossible, but we made it. Here we are. We are in Batumi in Georgia. It was the craziest border crossing ever. Bon appetit to us. Bon <laughs> well, we made it. We made it and it was an unforgettable experience.